Hello and welcome to Career Ride. I am Nishant and once again I am here with a new topic. And my today's topic is software testing interview questions and answers in MCQ format. So without wasting time, let's get started now. All right, so let's begin with the first one. Which of the following is not a correct testing technique? And the options we have integration testing, wise testing, regression testing and stress testing. And the correct answer is option B that is wise testing. Yes, there is no testing technique as wise testing. Whereas integration testing is a process that comes after unit testing where all modules and component of the software are tested in a group. Regression testing ensures that a change hasn't broken any existing functionality of the software. And stress testing verifies the stability of the software under extreme situations. Coming to the second question, who performs the unit testing? And the options we have users, customers, developers and none. And the correct answer is option C that is developers. Yes, unit testing is a process in which the smallest testable parts of an application called units are individually and independently scrutinized for proper operation. Unit testing is done during development process by developers. Now question 3 is alpha and beta testing are forms of acceptance testing integration testing, system testing, and unit testing. But the correct answer is option A, that is acceptance testing. As we know, acceptance testing is the last phase of software testing process before making the system available for actual use. Alpha and beta testing, application testing, and end user testing are forms of acceptance testing. Now coming to the next question, which of the following is non-functional testing? And the options we have black box testing, performance testing, unit testing and none of the above. But the correct option is option B that is performance testing. Now functional testing checks the functionality of software whereas non-functional testing verifies performance, usability, scalability and reliability of the software. Performance testing is a non-functional testing which verifies performance of software under the expected workload. Now coming to the next one, which of the following is not a static testing technique? And the options we have inspections, data flow analysis, error guessing, walkthrough. And the correct answer is error guessing. Static testing is a type of software testing method which is performed to check the defects in software without actually executing the code of the software application. By doing review, walkthrough, inspection or analysis etc. Now inspection and walkthrough falls under review technique of static testing whereas data flow analysis falls under static analysis technique. Now the next question is which of the following is a form of functional testing and the options we have security testing, performance testing, boundary value analysis, black box testing and the correct answer is option D that is black box testing. Yes black box testing examines the functionality of software without knowing internal code implementations. It mainly focuses on input and output of the software. Alright, so the next one is which of the following is not a varied phase of SDLC that is software development life cycle and the options we have testing phase, requirement phase, deployment phase and testing closer and the correct option is option D that is testing closer. Yes, testing closer is not a valid phase of SDLC. Software development life cycle includes the following steps that is planning and requirement analysis, defining, designing, 
then comes coding testing deployment and maintenance okay so the next question is testing done without planning and documentation is known as and the options we have unit testing regression testing ad hoc testing and none of the above and the option c is the correct answer that is ad hoc testing now ad hoc testing is done randomly and it is usually an unplanned activity that doesn't follow any documentations and the main aim of this process is to find defects by random guessing and it is usually done when there is limited time to do a thorough testing ad hoc testing is done by the people that have the most experience on the system to guess where errors usually occurs now coming to the next one boundary value analysis belongs to which testing method and the options we have black box testing white box testing both a and b and none of the above but the correct option is option a that is black box testing yes boundary value analysis is a black box testing technique which is used to test boundary values as the input values near the boundary have higher chances of yielding defects now the next question is which of the following is a preventive in nature and the options we have quality assurance quality control both a and b and none of the above and the correct answer is option a that is quality assurance yes quality assurance comes before quality control and ensures the techniques methods and processes designed for the projects are correctly implemented it recognizes flaws in the process focuses on the prevention of defects and thus quality assurance is preventive in nature All right so coming to the next question which testing process acts like a green light for the software and helps to determine whether the software is ready to be released and the options we have acceptance testing system testing performance testing and integration testing and the correct option is option A that is acceptance testing Yes acceptance testing is the last phase of software testing and is performed just before making the system available for actual use it determines whether or not the system software have met the requirement specifications and the next question is which steps refer to the set of tasks that whether developers are developing the right product or not and the options we have verification validation modularity and debugging all right so the correct option is option a that is verification yes verification includes checking whether the developers are developing the right product or not and is executed by quality assurance team whereas validation is a process of checking whether the developed product is right All right so coming to the next one what is the objective of integration testing and the options we have to verify that the system is functioning according to the specified requirements to verify that the system meets the user expectation and needs to verify that the system separately testable modules functions properly to verify that the different software components communicate and operate together very well and the correct option is option d that is to verify that the different software components communicate and operate together very well as yes, integration testing is a process that comes after unit testing where all modules and components of the software are tested in a group okay so the next one is which of the following is the best example of load testing and the options we have opening multiple tabs in the browser to see how many tabs can be opened running multiple applications on computer servers simultaneously 
playing games with high graphics and all of the above? And the correct answer is running multiple applications on computer server simultaneously. Yes, load testing is a kind of performance testing which determines a system's performance under extreme and varying load conditions. And the next one is, which of the following is an odd one out? And the options we have, unit testing, integration testing, stress testing and acceptance testing. And the correct one is option C, that is stress testing. You know, unit testing, integration testing and acceptance testing falls under functional testing, whereas stress testing falls under non-functional testing. So stress testing is an odd one out here. Now the next question is which of the software testing done to check if the user interface is easy to use and understand. And the options we have portability testing, usability testing, compliance testing and none of the above. But the correct answer is option B that is usability testing. Yes, the goal of usability testing is to improve the overall user experience. Right, so the next is a dynamic process to check whether the software developed is according to the requirements of the user. And the options we have quality control, quality assurance, validation, verification. And the correct answer is option C that is validation. Yes, validation is a testing process where both functional and non-functional tests are performed. It is a dynamic testing process. Validation ensures that the right product is developed. Now the next question is, which one of the following is wrong about manual testing? And the options we have, manual testing requires a human to carry out a test. More time is needed in manual testing as compared to automated testing. Manual testing is more efficient than automated testing. More cost is incurred in manual testing as compared to automated testing. And the correct option is option C that is manual testing is more efficient than automated testing. So automated testing is more efficient as compared to manual testing because the test follows the script that was written and is faster, reliable and less time consuming as compared to manual testing. Coming to the next question, which of the following tests doesn't require programming skills? And the options we have white box testing, black box testing, unit testing and integration testing. And the correct option is option B, that is black box testing. Yes, black box testing is a testing process where the tester doesn't need to know the internal details or the code of the software to be tested. The tester simply tests the software by supplying inputs and then checks the output. While the white box testing is a testing process where the tester is required to have good programming skills. Alright, so coming to the last question. Automated testing is suitable for which of the following scenarios? And the options we have usability testing, exploratory testing, ad hoc testing and performance testing. And the correct option is option D that is performance testing. Yes, performance testing such as simulation of thousands of concurrent users to test the performance of the system requires automation 